it's been an interesting week dealing with the uh, fallout from the whole robbery experience two Wednesdays ago. It has shifted all our paradigms, all our awareness and sensibilities. And we've all taken steps to uh, further secure our stuff. It's changed how we're uh, living, doing our thing around San Francisco. And in some really positive ways. Ain't that always the way? You know, I was talking in the last video about finding the positive, and it is having some positive knock-on effects. But not before it's had terrible, like, emotional and psychological effects. I mean, I, a couple days ago, had just a real period of intense anger. Oh, man. And I was walking at the time, and a guy... Eh, you got to be really careful as a pedestrian in San Francisco. And I do a lot of walking, a lot of busing, and I was crossing a street. It was dark, it was rainy, so I was really watching out for traffic. And a guy came just hauling ass out of a parking spot to go 20 feet to the stop that I was crossing at. And I lost it on this guy, so out of character. I mean, I was shocked. I mean, it was righteous anger, but normally all it gets from me is a scowl when somebody's acting that way. And I went off on the guy. And after he'd left and I continued on, I was like, holy shit, what was that? That's not how I do things. And it was then that I realized where that came from. And then for like 24 hours, I was dealing with that rage just coming out. Now, it's interesting because I talk a lot about not bottling things up, you know? Like you can, you only feel as much joy or love in, a, in your life to the degree that you allow everything else out. I mean, you can't bottle things up. You have to express them in healthy ways. <laughs> that was not a healthy way. And I'm lucky I didn't go off on that like that on someone who wanted to fight. You know? <sighs> Weird shit. <sighs> so the knock-on kind of positive effects are we're no longer looking at considering that a place is our spot. Going different spots, moving around a lot more, hanging out in different places at night, at least I am, and uh, it's gotten really interesting. I'm actually enjoying mixing it up, you know? It feels more adventurous again. And it's just funny, the ruts you can get into at times. And it doesn't matter if you're living in a vehicle, living in a house, it does not matter how or where you live, we get into ruts. and. Some of them are okay. You know, there wasn't anything particularly wrong. It was nice to feel like you had a home spot as a nomad. But it was a big, huge reminder that I don't. <laughs> Except for my dad's driveway or my sister's driveway. That's pretty much it. As a spot that I ever park and it's like, home, I'm home. <laughs> Woo, big reminder, big reminder. <laughs> But anyway, we're all starting to move through it, getting to positive places, making the changes we need to make, and uh, it's good. We're all starting to move into positive places. So it's a classic thing, you know? We hit these really dramatic events, challenges, something about what we feel so securing gets just shredded, ripped away from us without warning and it's traumatizing. But if you're in a healthy place, for the most part, in your mind and your approach to life, you're gonna find your way through it in a positive way. And we are. And I can't thank the people who've reached out and sent us their encouragement. Some that have helped um, support, even financially helped um, my family member. Thank you, thank you so much, you guys. Made a huge difference. Um, he's doing great. And, uh, we made the changes. We're walking in a positive place, so. I don't really have much more to say this week. Because that's really kind of encompassed everything. The after effects, the adjustments, the fabrication, the things we're having to do to make our spaces a little more secure. And it's, for the most part, it's all done now. So, we're just uh, getting on with life. And, uh, in my case, that means getting on with Jack Doss, so. I'm finally in an emotional, mental space to move on with that now and get back in my groove. So that's what's happening. Hope you all have had a good week. And uh, that's all I got for you this week. Just a little update.
Nothing fancy. All right. Have a great weekend.